For the last time, I'm not giving away my extra bus ticket. I'm not here for your measly ticket, Larry. No, I was just taking a long stroll to think of all the ways I can use these jellyfish. There's jellyfish jam and jellyfish jambalaya, candy jellyfish and jelly pot pie, tentacle twist and jelly pops. I can't stand it anymore. Take the bus ticket and hand over those jellyfish. Hello everyone, welcome to Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Uh, I just wanted to let that beginning part kind of go before I start it back up and everything. The, sand, the surf! There is nothing like being at the ocean, except being under the ocean. But yeah, here we are in Goo Lagoon, the last normal level of the game before we get to the big end. Uh, which is also a normal level, but also not, because it's the last one and stuff. Um, and once again, you can pretty much just... Well, I'm doing the Reef Blower first because these, uh, um, what do you call them? Umbrellas are easier to hop on when they're moving, which you need to activate by uh, reef blowing the fans and uh, yeah you have these very annoying like uh, I don't even know what accent that is but these annoying like buff lifeguards all around here that will constantly chase you around for running on the beach um, while running on the beach to get you, of course. Uh, and it's just kind of stupid bullshit, honestly. You can just kind of ignore them. Or you can kill them. You can uh, karate chop them and then they disappear. And I think they only take one hit, they're weak sauce. Um, but it is really weird because they say something every time that you pass by them, and every time they do, the music stops. And it's just like every other voice in this game where it's just abnormally loud and all of the sound c drops out. Um, I'm waiting for me to encounter another one so that you can hear it again, but yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is what Goo Lagoon is. There's a few sections to the game. It's a pretty, to the level, it's a pretty big level. Uh, I'm always kind of weird that this was the last one to me, the last kind of normal place you go to in this game. Um, I don't know, it it always struck me as like an early game kind of thing, just because it's one of the more, like, genial and, uh, you know, pleasant, normal places that Spongebob visits. Are you looking for trouble? But it's a good level, I like it. Uh, I like that there's sand dollars and doubloons, because I love uh, big, fat stacks. And I swear to god I didn't get that many coins when I stepped in there, but they're all gone, so okay. Also, if you're uh, watching this the day it comes out and wondering why I did not upload this on Friday like I am supposed to and am instead doing it on Saturday, the answer is I forgot. <laughs> I, I don't know what I was doing yesterday. Well, I do know what I was doing. I was going to the grocery store, which, pursuant to current circumstances, was much more of an ordeal than it needed to be. And, uh... It took a long time, and I was very tired, so I didn't do any video stuff. But I did, uh, I did play some Jackbox.tv games, um, over Zoom with my brother and some friends of ours, and, uh, I would love to do that on Twitch if anyone is interested. Um, if you don't know what Jackbox games are, they're just basically, like, party games, usually centered around coming up with funny answers to prompts and stuff, but some of them are, like, trivia-based and shit. Um, 
But I'd like to do that. I've been trying to stream more often. Uh, I've just been weird trying to gauge, like, what I should do and when. Because I never really know what, like, times work for people. And sometimes no one shows up when I'm, like, in the mood to be doing mad streaming stuff, so... I don't know, just uh, follow me on Twitch if you haven't already, and uh, keep yourself, um, you know, keep your eyes peeled, I guess, for uh, when I'm gonna do, for when I do streams. It's usually in the evening time, like post 8pm, and I, I've been trying to do it, like, most days of the week while I'm stuck inside here, so... Which, update, um, right now, uh, my work email, so, without getting into it or, like, saying what I do, um, our work, uh, my, my work had a big, like, data, um, breach last year, and so they had to, like, redo their whole email infrastructure, so it's on a closed network now, it's on an intranet network, um, and so you can't just open it, like, willy-nilly on any computer. You have to, like, access it through, like, Outlook, and I don't have Microsoft Outlook on my computer, so you have to do it... So to do it in a browser, there's, like, this thing you have to do. I had to, like, forward it to myself or whatever, to my normal uh, email from my work email. Uh, but anyway, for some reason that hasn't been working on my browser, and apparently it's not working for my boss now either, so I feel like something's just fucking up. But, um, so I'm relegated to just looking at the website, uh, for any updates on what they're doing. Uh, and right now, uh, I, they are closed until, uh, through April 3rd, so next, this coming Friday will be the last day that they plan to be closed before reopening, but honestly, I am kind of suspecting and hoping that they will change that, and I'll talk more about that, but watch this cutscene, I guess. Oh well, well, look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. Oh, sure thing, Larry. But can you tell me where you got that belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goolagoon Tough Man Tournament. Now stop talking with me, okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. Runs very awkwardly to the lighthouse. Um, yeah, Larry's like a big fucking asshole in this game. <laughs> I, I just stopped there so that you could hear, because that's like the main point of this whole level, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, if you couldn't tell from even before we got in the level where we had to get all the jellyfish for him. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess this was at a point in the series where... Like, Spongebob and Larry hadn't really interacted all that much in the show, and so Larry, like, I don't know. In some of the games, Larry, like, doesn't know who Spongebob is, and in other ones, they're, like, buddies, or at least, like, know each other, and, you know, Larry's still cool and Spongebob still drool, obviously, in the social hierarchy, but, you know, they, like, will talk to each other. Um, like, in Battle for Bikini Bottom, they have, like, a completely normal conversation, but I don't know. Uh, but it always kind of bothered me in this game that Larry is such a little bitch to Spongebob for no real reason. And he never gets his comeuppance, he just kind of gives you the belt. Well, I guess he does give you his comeuppance, because we're gonna- spoilers, we're gonna do a karate match against him, but it's like the karate matches with Sandy, so you don't even get to beat him up, you just have to smash more- barrels and treasure chests than him. And, yeah, at some arbitrary point when you walk over here, you need to fight all of these increasingly massive lifeguards. Uh, and that is how you're supposed to get on top of the Shake Shack, or whatever. Um, I didn't do that, though, but 
that's what you're supposed to do is make all those lifeguard towers uh pop up are you looking for trouble and uh, as I was going to say earlier in the video, uh, you can, like with most levels in this game, you can pretty much just keep the fishing gear costume on for the majority of the time, because, um, again, there's lots of jellyfish to get, and you need to be getting them. Um, just, you know, at least for nothing else in the letter tile of in the level. And, uh... There's also a part with uh, a few hooks and things later on, and it's just not worth it to keep going back and forth. Um, and, I don't know, the jellyfishing music is nice enough, it's very calm. I get a little bit sick of listening to it after a while, I guess, but I, that could go for any of the music in the game that you hear a lot of the time. I mean, like, the normal theme, I really like the normal theme, like the just normal costume square pants theme for this game. I think it's like, it is singular to this game, but it sounds like something that could be from the show. Uh, and I, I think, is that like an electric guitar or something that is making the main melody in it? I don't know, but it sounds really nice. It's a very chill. Uh, you got the quiet, like, do 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 do, the like acapella sort of un undertone. Um, I don't know, it, it's nice, but again, if you hear it repeat like 90 times and it restarts every time that you, you know, listen to someone talk, then uh, it can be a little much. But hopefully, it's not too much, and hopefully, I'm talking over it enough that it isn't like overwhelmingly annoying. But yeah, here we go to the lighthouse, which is a neat little section. Um, I, uh, I think Gulagoon is a good place for a level in a SpongeBob game. I, I like it in this game, and I like it in Battle for Bikini Bottom, just in terms of the like, variety of locales, because you have the normal beach part, um, and then in this game you have this lighthouse, um, and, uh, you have, like, the sunken ship at one point, um, but the lighthouse in and of itself is, like, has kind of a wide, because you go very high up and everything, and I don't know, I just kind of like it, and then you have the pier, which is, uh, very, very different in this game than from when in Battle for Bikini Bottom. In that game, it's more like a carnival, you know? Uh, it has rides on it and stuff. In this one, it's purely like a shipping port. Um, and you'll see what, what occurs there. I don't think in this video, but probably in the next one. Um... And uh, then in Battle for Bikini Bottom, you have the big sand castle, which is neat. You have the sea caves. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just... It's a general enough location that I feel like you can do a lot of things with it. And I just think most games that I've played that had Goolagoon as an area, they were usually fun. You go to Goolagoon in Employee of the Month, which is one of the... PC uh, point-and-click adventure Spongebob games, of which there are many. Um, and I would love to LP at least some of them. I've played most of them. Um, Employee of the Month is probably my favorite. It's kind of unwieldy, a lot of them are. I know a lot of people really love the PC version of Battle for Bikini Bottom. I've actually never played it all the way through. I played a few levels of it at a friend's house, but I never owned it. But I've played the movie game PC version. I've played the Lights, Camera, Pants PC version, which I've talked about before. Um, I've played Operation Krabby Patty a long time ago, and I think that's all of them that are like that. But yeah, they're all point-and-click games, and um, 
I, and I mean, they're neat. They're pretty short, and, you know, it's Spongebob shit. I personally really like Employee of the Month and the Lights, Camera, Pants one, so maybe I'll do those one time. Yeah, the camera really does not help you out here. I thought that maybe going into first person would, like, center it or something, but no such luck. But, yeah. But I like this part, ascending the scaffolding of the on the lighthouse and everything. I don't know. It's a neat level. Um... And this one is, like, it's a little chill, but I think the mixture of rain clouds and um, the stuff that goes on later on the pier, there's, like, a sense of foreboding in this level that is very appropriate, because it's the last full one that you'll do before you go into the last level. Um, and I don't know, I just really like it. Like, I've... I've described this game before already as weirdly kind of eerie, um, and I think that this part of the game, like, plays to that effect in a good way rather than in a kind of awkward way. Because there are parts early in the game where it's trying to kind of be, like, whimsical and fun like Spongebob would be, but it's, you know, the the silence when people are talking and the weird ass voice acting quality and the kind of lonely sound of the music and the kind of empty and vastness of the landscapes they it doesn't come off as intentionally eerie there but here and in the next one there's like a sense of foreboding that seems intentional and I kind of like it. I don't know. I've I've always just enjoyed the vibe of this level. Because it's very strange. The vibe of this whole game is very strange. And, like, I certainly have several complaints about this game. Uh, in terms of, you know, it's... Like, the movement is kind of stiff. Not every level or idea is, like, realized to its full potential or whatever. Um, and, you know, there are parts that are repetitive and stuff, and parts that are unnecessarily, like, boring or tedious. But, um, and of course there's just, like, the technical limitations of everything. But, I don't know, I, I always enjoy coming back to this game, and I don't think that it's bad. Um, and, I don't know, it, it feels very weird, um, and strange, but I, I don't not like it. I don't find it off-putting at all. I'm sorry, I just uh, talked over that amazing song. Maybe I can hide at that old shipwreck. Something that uh, somebody in the comments pointed out on an earlier video of this is uh, the way that a lot of characters exit in this game is hilarious. And I particularly love Larry. I think they were aware of it. The game makers were aware that this was a thing because some of them, some of them just look like they had no better way to get the character out of there. So they just float away. Um, they, you know, just fly into the distance. But Larry does this like superhero pose when he takes off and... It's just so goofy and funny, and he just lo he just yeets himself. It's so good. Um, but that was the lighthouse bit. So yeah, I don't know how to get um, those PC SpongeBob games working on my computer. I uh, I did get a virtual machine working a while ago, but I think I like fucked something up with it. I need to redo it, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, so maybe if I could find like either buy a copy of those games, like I'm particularly interested in doing Employee of the Month. If I could either buy a copy of it or get a like download of it, um, I could probably load it in my Windows XP virtual machine and just run it on that. Because I, I just don't want to buy a copy of it, and then I have no idea how it's going to interact with Windows 10, so whatever. Anyway, here's uh, Ugly Fish McSmokerhead. Like 
that magic bottle, please? And he he is the keeper of the pier. And in the next video, we will be going to the pier and seeing all the weird stuff that happens there. So see you then.